Happy New Year, you guys! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's 2023, and I know that some of you can't believe it either. Um, I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys really briefly because I woke up this morning. It was beautiful and bright and sunny and shining outside, um, but also at the same time, just a, like a rush of emotions came over me and different thoughts that I had on what the new year had for me, what it had in store for me. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about this period of waiting and expectancy. I know that some of you are in the same situation as me um, in terms of like what, what is to come. Um, and you may be waiting on various different things, but I wanted to discuss like, what do you do when what you expected to happen doesn't, okay? So if you're kind of in that same boat, let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adon and welcome back to my channel. So uh, as I said, it's the new year, you're, you have like these new year's resolutions, you have things that you want to do, um, you have things that you're waiting on. Maybe you're waiting on test scores or you're waiting on um, an acceptance or an offer for an interview or you're waiting on like test results, whatever it is that you may be waiting on, you are in this season and this period of expectancy and the new year tends to do that. It tends to allow us to kind of reflect on what the year in the past brought us and then kind of where we're going in the future. But I mean, what do you do when what you expected to happen doesn't, right? You expected something to happen um, last year and it didn't happen and now you're here in this new year. Uh, and I wanted to pose the question, like what if this period of waiting has nothing to do with us? And what if it has everything to do with us, right? These are the questions that we should be really asking ourselves and kind of moving forward and trying to think on um, and look at. And so with that being said, I, I've talked to you guys at ad nauseum about like my journey to PA school and what I expected um, and how that didn't quite go as I expected. Uh, and so I realized like in that moment that it had everything to do with me, right? I uh, had applied to med school, but I didn't do my research on PA school. And I thought like, oh, okay, whatever. Like I could just easily go and apply to PA school and be fine. And that was not the case. I got swift rejections because I didn't have like some of the patient care experience hours that I needed because as a med student, like a, a pro like a, a projected med student, I needed research more than anything. But as a projected PA student, I needed patient care experience and I didn't realize that. Another thing was that, you know, I didn't have some of the prerequisite requirements. And that is also something that you have to kind of be aware of and pay attention of. So I did not do my research. I just kind of jumped like right on into it and it didn't turn out the way that I expected it. And that had everything to do with me, okay? But there are moments where it has nothing to do with you, where you are like doing everything that you need to, but it's some outside force that is preventing you from um, getting to your immediate desire. And so there are two kind of train of thoughts that I wanted to leave you guys with. So uh, a lot of the times, ultimately, what we want immediately does not line up and coincide with what we want ultimately. So we may, we may have these desires for things, we may have these desires to do certain things in our life, but it doesn't quite line up with our ultimate goal. And so what does that mean for you? For you, this new year, I want you guys to really think hard on what it is that you're trying to get at immediately and how that ultimately lines up with your future goals um, for your career and for your life, for your family, um, and ultimately just for you as, as a future whatever that may be, right, person. Um, and then secondly, the next train of thought that I want you to kind of keep in mind is that a lot of times uh, the most important thing is not about what we're going through at that moment in time, but who we're becoming because of what we're, we're going through, right? So some of the times this, this period of waiting and expectancy and us going through these situations is all about who it's molding us to be as future practitioners, parents, providers, um, you know, wives, husbands, lawyers, whatever it is that you're going through. And so a lot of the times you really have to understand that 
this period of waiting and expectancy or tribulation and trial, whatever it is that you're going through, is not really about what you're going through, but it's about who you're becoming, okay? So as you keep that in mind, as you go through these next 12 months, um, you know, on the, on the beginning of this new year, I just want you to keep those thoughts in mind because I think it can help frame who you are as a person moving forward. And it will be better for you ultimately in the end because you will be able to kind of like gear up and, and figure out, okay, like what, who am I becoming? And is this about me or is, does it have nothing to do with me? Can, is this something that I can manage or not manage? And you can make those decisions based on that. I hope this was helpful. Again, I wish you many blessings, lots of love. Thank you guys so much for following me for the past, I don't know what, four years of this that I've been doing this. Um, uh, I hope that you guys have gained from my videos and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. If you haven't done, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at down the PA and on Instagram at get that university. If you guys have any other questions for me, you already know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. And then also, you guys, I do want to hear what these resolutions, what these desires are, what your ultimate goals are, because that is like the major thing that we want to look at, right? Ultimately, like where do we want to be? So drop those in the comment section for me as well. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.